Okay, we can start. You waited um, for me? Yeah. Pam, you're a member of this family, so we will wait for our family members. Phyllis, you want to give it a shot? I got it. When my mother was pregnant with me, they did an ultrasound and found she was having twins. When they did another ultrasound, a few weeks later, they discovered that I had resorbed the other fetus. Do I regret this? No. I believe his tissue has made me stronger. I now have the strength of a grown man and a little baby. Okay, why don't you throw the ball to somebody else? Nope. Yo, yes, Stanley, come on, your turn, you have to go. I will not. Okay. I'm going to toss the ball to Pam. Let's see. I had an aunt that I was really close to. She was this amazing female boxer. Um, anyway, she was injured in a fight and she was paralyzed. So you can imagine how upset I was when I found out that she asked her manager to remove her breathing tube so she could die. Wow. If you want to cry, that's okay. Thanks. Um, a few years ago, my family was on a safari in Africa, and um, my cousin, Mufasa, was, um, he was trampled to death by a pack of wildebeests, and um, we all took it really hard, all of us kind of in the audience, of what happened. Do you want to talk about it anymore? Oh, it would probably take me like an hour and a half to tell that whole story. Me, 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 me. Yes. Okay. Um, I was trying to throw this party once, and everyone was over for the weekend, and then my Uncle Bernie died, and so me and my best friend, we had to pretend like he was alive, so Wait that... a second. That's Weekend at Bernie's. Do you think that this is a game? Well, there is a ball. All right, we're starting over. No, I'm done. You are not leaving. No, we are not done. We really have a lot of work to do. Yeah, right well, now. you know what? The guy who had my job has died, and nobody cares. And he sat at my desk. Michael, look, I know this is hard for you, but that's just a part of life. I mean, just this morning, I saw a little bird fly into the glass doors downstairs and die, and I had to keep going. How do you, you know? know? What? That that bird was dead. Did you check its breathing? It was obvious. Was its heart beating? Toby, did you check it? No, of course you didn't. You're not a veterinarian. You don't know anything! Michael? Okay, team building. On this side of the room, Stanley, Phyllis, Jim, Ted, Elroy. And on this side of the room, Pam, Meredith, Phyllis, Creed. He never called a meeting. You know what, I'm gonna raise the stakes. You don't, we don't. I want you to watch this. And I want you to burn this into your brains. I don't think we need to <sighs> Because do this. this is an image that I want you people to remember for a long time to come. Whenever you come into the office, I want you to think about this. We don't need to. Yes, we do. What? <clears throat> oh. Ah. Mm. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. I did it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See? I'm still here. We're all still here. Oh, come on, Dwight! Come on, man! So we kiss occasionally. Not occasionally, all the time. Yeah, and it's not just the kissing, it's the flirtatious whispering. The flirtatious tickling. Whispering and tickling have their place in business. That thing where you softly exhale on her neck. I... Okay, yeah, that's pretty hot. I will give you that. Look, you are all hypocrites. You all do it. Michael, confession. I have done PDA in the office. Thank you. 
I've had intercourse in the office. All right. As has Angela. Dwight! As has Ryan. As has Kelly. As has Meredith. As has Phyllis. As has Daryl. As has Creed. As has Michael. And as has Holly. As has Kevin. With who? She goes to another school. Okay, fine. No more PDA. Good. Okay. You win. But here's what we are going to do. We are going to designate one of our closets as a hookup zone. No. Anything goes. I know. Just leave it how you Michael, that's it. absurd. What if two couples want to go at the same time? Okay, then we have two right. closets. No, no, we're going to have three closets, one for each base, no homers. Yes? And what is the hookup zone policy on masturbation? Pro. Yes. What? Yeah, Problem solved. Energize our office. I mean, I haven't done anything since Christmas. Pam clearly has just given up trying. So what we need to do is we need to get things going. We need to get percolating a little bit. Anybody have any ideas what we could do? Any suggestions? Yes, Andy. What if we changed our outgoing answering machine message so it just had a little more zing and a little more pep? Zing and pep. See, that's, those are the kind of words we're looking for. Yes, Jim. What about if we did an even newer voicemail message that had even more zing and pep? Now we're cooking. I like this. Maybe a whole theme, like a rap. A rap rhyme? An urban thing. An urban? Yeah. Stanley, you want to help us out with that? Stanley, Earth is Stanley. Not me. Yes, you. Come on, Stanley. Put your little game down and, and join the group. No. Stanley, we're do having a little Leave brain me alone, we're damn having it. a brainstorm session. Did I stutter? Good. This is good. I'm going to grab a glass of water. I can't keep doing this forever. It's been 20 seconds. Call it. Would you like to try next? Absolutely, I would not. You know who I really think should go? Stanley. Oh, I don't know. It's not a good idea, Michael. He needs to rest. No rest for the sick. We are not always going to be there to coddle your heart back when it disappears to be working. What are you going to do if you're by yourself and your heart stops? I would die. And you're okay with that? I'm okay with the logic of it. Uh -uh. No, no, no. Come on, get up. Let's do this. Yes, I had a heart attack. I would quit, but I'm too old to find another job. And I don't have enough save to retire. I feel like I'm working in my own casket. Come on, Stanley. You're losing you. You're losing you. Do it! Michael. This is you we're talking about. Michael. Okay, okay, I'll show them. Here we go. All right. So, assessing the situation, mm -hmm. are they breathing? No, Rose, they are not breathing. And they have no arms or legs. No, that's not part of it. Where are they? You know what? If we come across somebody with no arms or legs, do we bother resuscitating them? I mean, what kind of quality of life do we have there? I would want to live with no legs. How about no arms? No arms or legs is basically how you exist right now, Kevin. You don't do anything. All right, well, let's get back to it, because you're losing them. OK, too fast. Everyone, we need to pump at a pace of 100 beats per minute. Oh, OK. That's uh, hard to keep track. How many is that per hour? How's that going to help you? I will divide and then count to it. Right. Okay, well, a good trick is to pump to the tune of Staying Alive by the Bee Gees. Do you know that song? Yes, yes, I do. I love that song. <clears throat> First I was afraid, I was petrified. No, it's... Ah, 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 Staying Alive, okay. yes, Staying yes, yes. Alive. You were in the parking lot earlier. That's how I know you. Ah, 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 Staying Alive, Staying Alive. Uh, 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 stayin' alive, stayin' alive. Uh, uh, you can't uh, tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a woman's man, no time at all. Words it loud, women more. Been kicked around since I was born. Well, it's all right, it's okay. You can look the other way. Do 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 Okay, you didn't maintain 100 beats per minute and the ambulance didn't arrive because nobody called 911. So you lost him. Okay, he's dead. Anyone know what we do next? Anybody? Rose? I have no idea. Anyone else? We bury him. Wrong. Eh, check for an organ donor card. If he has one, we only have minutes to harvest. He has no wallet, I checked. He is an organ donor. He is? Yeah. Give me some ice in a styrofoam bucket. 
Here we go. Oh my God! Oh my God. Why? 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 We search for the organs. Where's the heart? The precious heart. I'm not feeling well. I need to sit down. Oh, oh, Stanley. Oh, Stanley. Are you okay? Oh, oh my God! Why would you? Why? Oh my God. Here's what's going to happen. I am going to have to fix you, manage you to on a more personal scale, a, a more micro form of management. Jim, what is that called? micro -gement. Boom, yes. Now Jim is going to be the client. Dwight, you're going to have to sell to him without being aggressive, hostile, or difficult. Let's go. All right, fine. <clears throat> bring, bring. Hello? Hello, this is Dwight Schrute from the Dunder Mifflin Paper Company. Wow, that's great, because I need paper. Excellent, then you are in luck, because we are having a limited time offer only on everything. Wow, this is my lucky day. I ask him his name. What is your name, sir? I am Bill Butlicker. Really, that's your real name? How dare you? My family built this country, by the way. Be respectful, Dwight, please. Uh, uh, yes, Michael. Could you hold on one second? That's my other line. What? No, but I... Hello? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just on the phone with this stupid salesman. He's so dumb. Probably just gonna keep him on the line forever and not buy anything. <laughs> okay. It's up to you to change his mind. Sorry, that was a family emergency. Oh no, what's wrong? You know what? That's private. Boundaries, Dwight, come I'm, on. I'm sorry, Mr. Butlicker. As I was saying, <sighs> so we're having a limited... Speak up a little bit louder, I'm hard of hearing. He's hard if he's an old man. Okay, as I was saying, right now yeah, we are having... Talk louder. Okay. Our prices have never been lower. Son, you have Sir, to talk louder. Never been lower. Louder, I, son! Butlicker! Our prices have Sorry. never been lower! Stop it! Heat! That is totally inappropriate. You never yell at the client. You now never you listen yell at the to client. me, sir. Here we go. The three words I would describe you as is aggressive, yes. hostile, and definitely difficult. Give me Please, the phone. Mr. Butlicker. I'm irate right give now. Give me the phone. Please give me He's another irate. chance. Give me the phone. Mr. Butlicker. Give me the phone. I have to put you on with my boss. Well, I should hope so. Who is this? Hello, this is Michael Scott, regional manager. Well, this is William M. Butlicker. Hello, Mr. Butlicker. How may we help you? Michael, I like the sound of your voice. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy $1 million worth of paper products today. <laughs> See how it's done? Thank you very much, sir. I don't think you'll regret it. You, know what I did? you are the master. There is one condition, Michael. Yes. You have to fire the salesman that treated me so terribly. Don't do it, Michael. Here, oh, okay. By his own admission, this person actually tried marijuana in college. So, the Doobie Doobie Pothead Stoner of the Year Award goes to Andy Bernard! There's a lot of people I'd like to thank, but I think we all actually want to thank you, Michael. Oh, thank you. I mean, we actually really all want to thank you for everything. Nine million nine hundred eighty-six thousand minutes. We actually sat down and did the math. Nine million nine hundred eighty-six thousand minutes. That's how many minutes that you've worked here. In costumes. And impressions. In meetings. In cups of coffee. For birthdays. More meetings and. Email boards you made us read. 9,986,000 minutes That's like watching Die Hard 80,000 times You hit me with your car You help me get off drugs I watch you when you sleep I forgive you for kissing me Remember to call I got to Okay. Well, this is gonna hurt like a mother. <laughs>